Hello, this is Greg Wilson. Uh, usually I show you demos of apps that we've built internally to show off certain features of, of our mobile frameworks uh, and mobile tooling. Uh, today I want to show you apps that are actually in the app stores that are for sale today, ones that the authors of these apps are making money on. Uh, they're selling them through various app stores, uh, the Apple App Store, Android, uh, BlackBerry Playbook, even the Nook, uh, Barnes & Noble store, where there's some apps uh, in that store as well. So first of all, I'm going to show you uh, what these, the apps on the multiple stores on my uh, laptop here. So first of all, we're going to look at an app called PolitiFact. And this is an app that was uh, put in the store a few weeks ago. And it's a, uh, uh, by the Times Publishing Company. And this app basically monitors all the different politicians and the comments that they make. And they do uh, some fact finding on it and let you know whether they're being truthful or somewhat dishonest. And it's a fun app. They have a great website, politifact.com. And uh, they decided they wanted an app. And they wanted to hit all the major app stores at once without having to write a bunch of different native apps. So they uh, selected Flex as the technology uh, to do that. So let me show it to you in the, uh, the app stores. So what I have in front of me is the uh, iTunes preview screen for uh, the Apple App Store. So here's PolitiFact in that store. Uh, it's got four and a half stars. Uh, you see the various uh, screenshots of it. Uh, you know, customer reviews uh, you know, have been good. Um, and then if we switch over to the Android Marketplace, you see the exact same app. And again, this one's got four and a half stars. Uh, again, screenshots and the various ratings, and you see it's doing well there. Um, it's also in the BlackBerry app world, and even in the Barnes & Noble uh, Nook store. So the, uh, the same app appearing in all four of those marketplaces. And recently, they added it to the Amazon Android app store as well. So here you have one app that was built uh, with one set of tools, one framework, and it's been deployed on three different mobile OSs, Android, iOS, and uh, BlackBerry tablet OS. And that same app has been put out into five different marketplaces. Uh, so now let's switch to a different one. This is a, a game app. And this is a game called Pyramix. Um, and this has uh, been in the App Store now for a few weeks. And again, this is a, uh, an app that the author of it, HD Interactive, wanted to have in multiple app stores at once. They didn't want to have to build it native for each one and invest all that time and then worrying about the support of it in the future. So here you see it in uh, iTunes. Uh, and it's doing really well there. It's also in the Android Marketplace. Uh, it's in the uh, BlackBerry app world. And recently, they added it to the Barnes & Noble Nook store. It's doing really well in that store. It was the number four app for uh, quite a few days uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the Barnes & Noble store. OK, let's take a look at these apps running on the devices so you can see the type of quality in the apps that you get and, uh, and why these apps are being sold in the various marketplaces. So I've got it running on quite a few devices here. I've got a BlackBerry Playbook. Uh, we have a, a Samsung Galaxy Tab, the 7-inch. I have a Barnes & Noble Nook. Uh, an iPod Touch, an HTC Inspire, an iPad 2. I have both of those apps running on every one of those devices. They were all actually purchased through the uh, stores to get them on the device. So we'll bring this up. Let's start by taking a look at PolitiFact on the uh, iPad 2 here. So the app brings up the uh, recent comments that have been made by various politicians, things that they've made in speeches or online or whatever. And you can drill down into any of these and see uh, details as to you know, how factual their comment was. So the guys at PolitiFact go out and research everything that's been said. And, uh, you know, basically give you a very deep breakdown of what was said. Now, one thing that's available in this app that's not available on the website that really takes advantage of the framework is some of the uh, visualization. So for example, if we go to the uh, report card, uh, in this case, he's only made one statement. We'll back up to someone that has a little more. Uh, go into Mitt Romney here and look at his report card. So here you see uh, how he's rating on, on basically uh, you know, how many comments he says are true compared to the ones that are false or barely, barely true. Um, and we can also go look at campaign promises that were made by uh, uh, the Office of the President and the uh, GOP. And then you could even drill down into this and see uh, more information. So you get you know, lots of data visualization, uh, you know, very clean and, and easy to use user interface. Um, and it's you know, been a, a big success. They've had a lot of sales of, of this particular app uh, in all those marketplaces. So the other one I want to show you is Pyramix. And this is a game, completely different type of app. But it was also built with Flash Builder uh, using the Flex framework. So this is a uh, word game that they sell in all the various marketplaces. And we can go uh, into it and see if we can play it. 
So I got four different words I have to construct at the top, three letter, four letter, five letter, and a six letter word, and I use the letters below. Uh, the numbers you see to the right are the number of words that are possible out of the combination at the bottom. So for example, a simple three letter word would be C, A, N, and notice each time I drop a letter on there, the numbers all change because the different uh, permutations are changing. And you can look at high scores, um, and it's a very addictive game. Uh, folks in my family that play this pretty often and, and really amused. Uh, a couple more that are in the App Store, by the time you see this will be in the App Store uh, by that same company, there's one called Neptune, it's a similar game, it's a, a word game. And again, built with uh, Flash Builder using the Flex framework, obviously a lot of uh, you know, real high quality graphics using a lot of other Adobe tooling. So this game is called Neptune, and it's another word game. And we're basically trying to, uh, as fast as we can, create words uh, at the bottom. So I believe I see W-I-R-E-D, so there's a word. And I got 900 points for that, and so you would continue doing words. Uh, and again, a very responsive game, uh, you know, lots of capabilities. And uh, they're planning to launch that, uh, by the time you see this, it'd be already launched, but they're launching in all the marketplaces that we've already discussed. And then one final one that has a little bit different look and feel that will be in all the markets by the time you see this. It's called uh, Kung Fu Battle Slots. Welcome to Kung Fu Battle Slots. So this is a fun one, and one, actually one of the first games I've seen that's designed for two players at the same tablet. The, everything else I've showed you uh, is really designed for both the uh, handheld device and a tablet device. This one is really designed specifically for tablets just because of the type game. So typically I would be sitting across a table from someone. There would be a player on one side, me on the other side. And uh, I bring this down, and the other player brings it. And these cards spin, and it's like a, a game of, of war. So the person on the other side has a bigger number than me, so they won that one. I, I'm going to block that one, and on this I'm going to attack and win that one. So then it goes on to the uh, next round and gives you a score. It gets very fast-paced, very fun game, super responsive as a game like this would have to be. And I think that really shows off the capabilities of the type of uh, apps that we can build with our technology. So that's just a few of the games that are in the App Store today. Uh, there are many more coming as the word gets out that we have technology to do this across all of these devices. Uh, so I think you're going to uh, see lots of success with those types of apps.